Welcome mathematicians. Today we'll be looking at matrices. And in this video, we're looking at a simple multiplication of two two by two matrices. So the task for today is to multiply the following pair of matrices. Before multiplying these matrices, we must see if a product matrix is defined. What we mean in simple terms is can we multiply these two matrices together? Let's examine first of all the order. The order of the first matrix is two by two. And the order of the second matrix is two by two. So to test if they can be multiplied and whether the product matrix is defined, let's examine the number of columns in the first matrix and the number of rows in the second matrix. Now, if they're equal, then they can be multiplied together. And in this case, they can. We have two columns in the first matrix and two rows in the second matrix. So the product matrix is defined. A step that many people like to undertake is to determine the order of the product matrix. And that's simple as well. To determine the order of the product matrix, simply allocate the row number of the first matrix to the row number of the product matrix and the column number of the second matrix to the column number of the product matrix. So from this, we know the order of the product matrix will be a two by two matrix. Let's label the product matrix P, which means there are four elements, P11, P12, P21, and P22. Let's now find the value of each element. So our first element, P11, uses row one of the first matrix and column one of the second matrix. We'll remove the other elements for simplicity. So we move column one of matrix two above row one of matrix one, and we multiply the values. So the two is multiplied by the three, and the minus one is multiplied by the minus one. And we add those products together. Three by two gives me six, plus minus one times minus one gives me one, gives me a value of seven, and that's entered into our matrix. So element P11 has a value of seven. Let's consider now element P21. As the labeling suggests, that takes row two of the first matrix and column one of the second matrix. We'll remove the others. We'll move the column one of the second matrix above row two of the first matrix and multiply the terms. Two times two minus one times four. We multiply those terms and we add them together. We end up with a value for element P21 of zero. We place that in our product matrix. We continue on and we now want to work out the element P12 which uses the first row of matrix one and the second column of matrix two. Remove all the other distracting elements, rotate that column two across above row one and multiply the terms three by three and four by minus one. And we add those products together and we end up with a value of five. Finally, element P22. That involves row two of matrix one and column two of matrix two. We'll remove the other elements, move column two above row two, multiply the values. So we have three by two and four by four. We add those products together and we end up with a value for element P22 of 22. And here's our answer for our matrix multiplication. And of course, we always check that with our TI Inspire CASCX calculator. If you have enjoyed and indeed learned something from this video, please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.